Today I'll show you how to add a download button like this on your website so visitors can click and download files. I'll also show you a different method where when someone clicks download, a new tab will open and the download button will be here. There's two easy steps to add a downloadable file to your website. First is to upload the files to your website's media library. There are files that I want to upload. It can be an image, a PDF or even a video. Now, one quick tip. If you upload a graphic or PDF, later on when everything is done and someone clicks on the download button, a new tab will open with a file and they'll have to click here to download it. But if you want the graphic or PDF to download directly like this, then right click the file and then select the option to turn it into a zipped folder. Okay, now let's come back to our WordPress dashboard. On the left side, click on the media section and then click on add new. I'll select the files and the zipped folder and just drop them into the upload box. All right, they're uploaded now. By the way, adding files and PDFs to your website over time will definitely slow it down. But you can avoid this using a free plugin called Airlift. Let me show you how. After installing it, you just add your website URL and it triples your site speed. After this, you can keep uploading files but Airlift works in the background to keep your sites fast. Now the second step is to go to the page you want to add the download button to. So go to posts and then open the page. Now scroll down to where you want to add the download button, like I want to add it here. Click on the plus icon here and this panel will open up with different types of blocks. Type files here to find the file block, then select the option to add it. Now you'll see an option to add a file to the block. Click on the media library link. Here's the file that we uploaded earlier. Now, first we'll select a zipped folder, then hit the insert button. The file will get embedded and its name will be a download link like you can see here. To change the name of the link, simply click on the text and then edit it like this. On the right panel, you can toggle on the download button. So now you can see the button here. Make sure the link to media file is selected here. You can select open in new tab as well. And after customizing things to your liking, hit update. Open the page we customized, then scroll down Click download and yes, the zip folder has downloaded. If we go back once, we can then replace the file like this and select the PDF now. You see additional customization options. We can see that a preview has been generated as well. I would remove this because it can slow down your site if the file is so big. So disable inline embed and click the update button. Now come back to this tab, refresh the page, then click download and the PDF will open in a new tab with the download option here. One final time, let's go back, click here, and this time let's put the image file directly. Then click update. Come back and refresh the page. Now scroll down and you can see the link for your image. Click it, the image will open in a new tab like this, and you can save image like this. So you can select whatever method you prefer. Here's another video I thought you would like to watch next.